Okay, we're going to make some new bento icons. The ones that ship with the templates aren't really appropriate for the projects you're actually using. So here's how you make new templates and incorporate them into bento. Right, so what we need to do is um, we need to go into Applications, choose bento, right click on bento, and or control click and show package contents, and then contents resources look for icons now there it is okay and we're looking for items for sale uh, it's just, uh, down uh, products for sale that's it products for sale okay there's four pngs in here we're only interested in two the library underscore large library underscore small make a new folder on the desktop this is to store the uh, old icons you've got there so if we make a mistake we can put them back in so select these right click um, right click uh, copy two items click on there right click control click and paste items and there they should be in that folder as you can see there they are okay right let's close this down we'll need Photoshop for what we're going to do now uh, so bring up Photoshop go to the file open navigate to the folder you made on the desktop uh, for bento icons there they are these here we want both of those and open them okay there they are in photoshop now we're going to have a look at the the size of, the, of these if we go to image and then image size for the large one you will uh, well this is the small one 32 by 32 72.009 Okay, and the large one, image, image size, you can see that's 128 by 128 by, well, resolution 288.011. Okay, file, because we're going to make a new one. So file new, and okay, it's a little trick, so you don't have to type it all in. Go to window, and you'll see that library large is ticked. Just click on that. This is the large one. Click on that. And you'll notice that that size for that particular uh, image is there. There we are, we have a new one. Now I'm just going to make just a simple uh, icon. I'm just going to use some text in red, 14 points, and center justified. Click into the box, type my files or my whatever you like, or just anything. Um, I've made a mistake here, that should be in uppercase, so we'll change that. And once we've changed that, we want to uh, use the selection tool up the top. And then we can move that around. Okay, and use the up and down cursor keys on your keyboard to uh, we'll use the left and right as well, just to align it up there. Okay, file, save as. Okay, now this is the important thing. This has to be um, saved as a PNG. But we've got to give it a name and library underscore large. Now remember that's the name of the old files that were actually in Bento. We need to save it as a PNG. It's important you get the file name right. Okay. We need to make a new folder with inside our Bento icons folder. So click new folder and name it new Bentos or new Bento icons. Once you've done that, create. Okay, now we can actually save into that folder. Check everything's right. Okay, just okay that. Let's go back. Now, what we're going to do is reduce the size of that image. Now, if you can see, I'm still on the large image there. Okay, I'm going to change the size of that, uh, the resolution to so 72.009. Okay. All right, and you'll notice it's changed to the right uh, file you know, uh, dimensions. Okay, and it's identical to the other. So we can save that one to file, save as, and it's going in the same folder, but we need to name this one library underscore small. Change it, the format on that to a PNG. Change it to a PNG. 
Okay, and there we are, and it's going in the Bento icons, the new new Bento's icons folder. Okay, there. Done all away with all of these. Just close them all up, and let's incorporate this into uh, Bento. First, we'll just check our files in the uh, folder here. As you can see, uh, the old ones are there. Here's the new ones. Click on the first one. That's a large one. That's a small one. Everything's okay there. Okay, so you want to go to Applications. Applications, go to Bento and right click or control click and show package contents. Once you're in there, go to Contents, Resources, scroll down until you find Icons. There we are. And you know the file we actually want. We need products for sale. There we are, there's the old ones. Okay, so if we open up our Bento folder, go to the new Bento icons folder. And there we are, select these two. Right click, copy two items. Close that down, go back into the Bento one, right click, paste items. Replace, replace. Okay, now if you have a look now, there they are. There's the large, there's the small. Okay. Let's go back into uh, Open Bento, and voila, there we are, my files, a new Bento icon. Um, as I say, you can use um, images, but they must be um, PNG, they must be the same name. Um, anyway, hope you enjoyed the thing.